All right, welcome back. So this time we're going to be talking about physics interactions. And by default, uh, our character controller here is already set up for dynamic interactions. Uh, but we'll also talk a little bit about um, ignoring these collisions as well. So you may have noticed in some of the code, uh, it refers to a kinematic character controller. And that means that by default and by design, uh, our character is a kinematic object. So what this means is that it is not going to be moved by uh, physics interactions uh, from the environment. So if a cube or a rock or something hits the character, um, it's not going to move. It's just going to kind of bounce off of it. And the, uh, I think in the background for kinematic objects, basically it's giving that object infinite mass. So it can move and it will collide with other objects, uh, but it will not be moved by those objects. So what the kinematic uh, character controller does is it simulates that interaction um, on the back end. So we'll look a little bit at that here in Unity. So we just have a cube here and we just have to make sure that we have a collider uh, and we have a rigid body and that the collider is not set to trigger and the rigid body should not be set to kinematic here. Our character here, you'll see it, it does have a collider, uh, but there's no rigid body on it. That's because everything will be handled through code. Here in our character authoring, uh, we just have a mass of one, and then we have our simulate dynamic body check here. Like I said, this is all set uh, by default, so there's no uh, code or anything that we have to change for this. Uh, so we just hit play. Our cube here in the uh, sub scene will get converted into an entity. The rigid body and the collider uh, will get cre um, baked as a physics shape and physics body. And yeah, we can just move around and collide with it like normal. We can increase its mass. We can sprint into it to move it a little bit. There, it moved. All right, so sometimes you may want to ignore collisions for whatever reason. And to do that in the ECS world, we will need components for that. And here in our character component, we are just going to add a new field for public custom physics body tags. And we'll just call it ignored physics tags. And then now in our aspect, uh, down under our character processors, we have this uh, can collide with. And here, we're just going to check if what we're colliding with has one of those tags, then we won't collide with it. Uh, so here, we will want to run this like normal though. So if we are not collidable here, we will return false. And here, we will check for our physics tags. For this, we'll use our physics utility. Physics utilities uh, has physics tag. Uh, for this one, we will use the second one. We'll grab the physics world from the base context. Then we'll get the rigid body that we hit index. And then we will compare this to our character component is what we got up here right oh dot ignore tags and that will also return false and then if we get all the way down there we return true okay so with all of this should have a new field on our character here we have our ignored physics tags uh, we have a number of these we can choose from we can just choose our first undefined one we can also edit it here uh, we can call this ignored pass through or whatever right now we have a neat little name and i made a prefab earlier here drop this all right so for our ignored cube we are using uh the unity ECS dots physics uh physics body and physics shape uh you'll see these if you go into your package manager and then under unity physics samples if you 
and import the custom physics authoring, uh, you will get the components for uh, physics body and physics shapes. And we're doing this because we need the custom tags that we'll be looking for, with the material for the body. There we go. So now we can I'll bump into that. I'm not sure why that's not moving, but now we can just move right through that. Oh, right. That's because our didn't change it back. There we go. So we can move this around. We can just walk through this and there we go. Alrighty. So next time we will continue the physics journey uh, on to moving platforms, which is more complicated than you would actually think for a third person controller. So yeah, if you guys uh, have any questions, definitely leave some comments below. Join us on Discord and uh, yeah, talk to you next time.